So what's the deal with race week nutrition? This is a great question with a little bit of an anticlimactic answer. But first I have to say I'm not a registered dietitian, I'm not a doctor, this is all just based off of our personal experience. Um, so the first thing that I would say for racing is don't do anything crazy the week before. Um, we tend to just eat exactly like we would normally eat. We don't want to all of a sudden start eating lots of donuts um, to try to you know, gain weight. We also are not trying to cut back on our calorie intake. We don't want to be losing weight um, leading into a race. So that would kind of be the number one thing. But the second thing that we do is actually we just hydrate, 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 hydrate. And that's the entire week leading up to the race. And what we hydrate with is Pedialyte. So the reason that we hydrate with Pedialyte is because it's got a lot of electrolytes, um, more than the average sports drink, uh, so, but, and less sugar. The reason that we want to have electrolytes while we're hydrating is because if you just hydrated with water, what you're going to be doing is diluting all of the electrolytes that your body already has. Um, so you want to make sure that if you're going to hydrate, you do it with some electrolytes. Um, the last thing that I'd say is that the the kind of myth behind carbo loading, we don't really adhere to that. Um, the night before a race, what we'll do is eat something that has good fats, proteins, and complex carbohydrates. So what we like to eat pretty standard is grilled salmon, rice, and then some sort of a vegetable um, to get those vitamins and minerals. But other than that, I would just say, you know, the week leading into a race, what you should do is just keep doing what you're doing and don't do anything crazy.